Hi guys, it's me, Boog. And Dad. From Boogie Dare TV. And today, we're going to be reviewing the Star Wars Black Series Obi-Wan Kenobi television series, Ned B and Obi-Wan Kenobi Tibion Don Station. The Tibidon Station, Obi-Wan Kenobi. And also, from the Obi-Wan Kenobi TV show. Everyone's We're really excited character. about this one. Thank you. Yes, Ned B. I had no idea that was his name was, but okay. Um, so, uh, let's get started. We've already done uh, the um, uh, one Obi-Wan from the ser his uh, series, and now this is the second one with an outfit change. Uh, this time he's wearing some blue. Very necessary, precious. <laughs> yeah, and uh, he's got his backpack here. And some other things. Um, and they went with the window on this one, whereas they didn't on this one. So it's kind of odd as to how they're doing their packaging. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe he's in, Maybe he was released before this one and they hadn't made the changeover yet. Or maybe they just haven't 100% fully committed. Not sure. But anyway. All right. So I'm going to show you the package on this one. And like I said, it says here, Sierra Star Wars Obi-Wan. Kenobi, of course, the TV show, which was amazing. There's the back. He is number six in the Obi Wan Kenobi line. And they give the nice look ins here, which is very, very cool. And then I can't remember right now when he wore the blue suit. Do you remember wearing the blue? Um, based on the background here. It seems like this is like his roaming attire when he was like going around. Ah, uh, Tibbet on Station. Well, you think that was that one that they were in the city? Was he wearing it then, maybe? Yeah, maybe. Was it, or around? It, it was either that or, um, or, um, when, um, it was near the end. He could have been worn, wearing it when, um, he was, um, they were trying to, um, get the ship. There. Yeah. They're like trying to take off the ship to save all the rebels. It, it could, that could be that station. All right, yeah, could have been. Okay, all right. So uh, <clears throat> we'll let Boo go ahead and start opening this one, and then I'll go over the pack for <clears throat> Ned B. And as uh, we all know, he has the uh, the new packaging, so it gives you a nice look at uh, what he's supposed to look like there on the front. They did a good job with the high quality photos, so you should know exactly what you're getting. Of course, is what they kind of have to do. Um, they could they could literally just put pictures of the movie on there. <laughs> yeah, they're not going to do the window, right? Um, and he's in a larger packaging, so I'm expecting him to be a bigger figure. Yeah, I'm guessing he might be uh, one of those deluxe ones. Uh, yeah, and he is number ten in the Obi Wan Kenobi, Kenobi uh, series. So I'll and read this, you a little. And this one is number six. Yeah, I'll read you a little. Well, I think they all said the same thing. It's pretty much just. Obi-Wan Kenobi set years after the dramatic events of Star Wars Revenge of the Sith, where Kenobi faced the corruption of his friend and Jedi apprentice, and his Skywalker turns to Lord Darth Vader. And this is so, pretty, and it's pretty much the same on this box. Too. Yeah, that's where they're, they're getting lazy. I really think they should you know, waste their time. Put some details about the character in here. That would make a lot Stop more sense. Stop being lazy, Hasbro. Right, right, right. So the same generic description of the TV show, which we yes, kind of already know all that. So, uh, like I said, don't waste my time. It's the same thing here on the back of Obi-Wan. You might as well shouldn't have even read it. Yeah, I think we already read it before on the ones we did a couple weeks ago. But Boo's collection of Obi-Wan figures are uh, massively expanding here. Yeah, he is. Um, which he's very excited about. Which I weirdly don't have uh, an old man Obi-Wan. Really? Yeah. Like an uh, original... Original yeah. trilogy? Yeah. No, Obi-Wan? I don't. Oh, wow. Okay. You know, it's oh, something to work on, I guess. Yeah. So, uh, we're going to get the backpack here, looks like. And also, I have noticed that the... Um, Very nice detail. That, um... Let's see if it opens. Let's slide them out of the way here. Does it open? Uh, I'm thinking no. doesn't look like it's open. That's cool. Oh, no. I'm wrong. It does open. Cool. Did underestimated the power of Hasbro. Yeah, so we got a real functioning backpack here. Uh, that's kind of awesome. Yeah, yeah, so it opens up and you can actually put stuff down inside. Very cool. So, what kind of stuff do we have to put in here? We're going to need, let's see, some Cheez Its. 
Goldfish? Yeah, Obi-Wan has no time to, be to put snacks in there. He has more important things to put in there. Well, he's definitely got to have snacks for his uh, little donkey camel thing that he rides around. Yes, Dad. Remember, he has to go 100, mile, 100 miles on a little piece of fish. <laughs> yes, Dad. <laughs> Dad, Dad do, you, do you mind going over this? That well, was quite shocking. Dad, do you mind going over your Very thoughts fuel on, efficient, that, I might add. on that while you show off the accessories? Okay, so we get a little blaster. Yeah, Nothing too exciting. I think, I think it's the same from when, uh, same one from the other one. His lightsaber, always very exciting. We can never have enough lightsabers. And I think it should come apart here. Yeah, pretty easily so that you can attach it to maybe his belt. Looks like it has the belt attachment. Do we have a belt, Mr. Boog? Uh, yes. Okay. So Hell Boog can just attach to his belt. And then he. It looks like, yeah, you'll have to kind of... These don't pop off. I thought they might be made like this side, but um, they don't. So you kind of have to, uh, I guess, work work, your, work his arms through here for him to wear the backpack. We'll let Boog do that here in a second. See what he works out for us there. You will, like, say he's giving me the difficulties. Okay. Yeah, well, we're never going to display him like that. Can't get it in there? No. All right. So but yeah, but but, but the other one but on the other one it's pretty much the same sculpt so yeah right it'll, it'll work just it's they working. just changed his clothes and charged us another thirty dollars uh, yeah oh <laughs> even though the pants might be different maybe 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 he's wearing someone else's pants <laughs> so yeah he's definitely not wearing the robe in this one he's wearing more like a cape type thingy which is cooler <laughs> yeah i think the head sculpt is probably the same uh i don't know not 100 percent sure if we weren't lazy we would have the other one out so we could compare it but we don't but guess what we're not lazy okay and we're back we are back so we have my other two obi ones now right got attack of the clones and obi one Yay. The series. Actually, let me let me do him a little bit of justice. Let's put the. Yeah, he comes with the awesome on. robe. The robe really makes that figure. Um, and then of course, like you said, we have the old Attack of the Clones guy here, which he's uh he's fine. Nothing wrong with that. But no one cares about him at the moment. Right. Um, but these do look. The outfits are much much cooler, and I think the haircut and stuff is too. I kind of like. I kind of prefer the reddish blonde hair versus the. Really blonde hair? What do you think? Yeah, Maybe it's just the haircut's it. better. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Um, yeah, I think it is the same head hair school head school, but it's painted different. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's never one of my favorite looks for Obi Wan, but it's one of his, I guess, kind of younger looks. All right. And now we get kind of an older Obi Wan. And yeah, he does look uh, amazing. Ta -da! We've already reviewed this one, so let's get down. Mainly, we're trying to look at the head scan here, and let's see if they are the same. And they are. I believe they are, yes. Just it's painted differently. Right, right. So anyway, here's the one we're reviewing now. The uh, Obi-Wan from uh, Tibidon well, Station. Actually, this could be why it doesn't work well. Hmm. Exact same lightsaber. Oh, actually, uh, yes, but the but the other one, the one that we had previously, is painted better. It has more details. Oh, okay. Compared to the newer one. So yeah, with this with this this uh, you know, like I said, the other one you get the robe. This one you kind of get this flowing wraparound scarf. They did some pretty cool, uh, as you can see, some pretty cool, uh, I guess, sewing work here. They kind of give it that wraparound look, like it does in the movie. So I was in credit for that. that they, uh, they didn't go lazy on that. Just it looks problem, pretty good. The, it's layered. Just the only problem I have with it, it kind of pushes up into like his face and stuff. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. So, uh, uh, now let's see if we can. Uh, yeah. You just slip it off there. Yeah, it's pretty easy to take off. Okay. And then the backpack. Uh, let's see how hard that is to get on. There's that. Well, we could do those kind of. Oh, there's a lightsaber. It's not a belt. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm pretty sure this is the, that other one's hilt. So this uh, this one is much less detailed than the other ones. Yeah, much older version. And then I guess here's your real comparison. Mm-hmm. 
So uh, yeah, it does look like the pink. It looks like um, it's been just been repainted. Now after seeing this, we have been robbed. Yeah, so it's the exact same figure. He just got a painted blue shirt versus a painted uh, gray shirt, and of course you get the different scarf versus the the robe. So there's that, and the additional backpack. Um, all right, boots. So we're gonna put the backpack on. Now I'm hoping that they do make that camel uh, slash donkey figure. That would be really awesome to have him in this line. I think it's very doable, uh, so that he can, you know, you can pose him in your on your shelf with him riding on that whatever that little creature's called. That would be really awesome. Um, they did a great job with the uh, 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 let's see with the dewback. Yeah, the dewback looks so cool. Yeah, so I really I, think they could they could do this. I don't really know if they get after the rancor. Fall build on stage so much. I don't know. That was a Haslab on a much different price level type thing. Um, they wanted a lot of money for that Rancor. Uh, so I think, um, was I going to pay it? Yes. But a lot of the people decided they were not. So, you know, that's that's their own own personal thing. And that's a pretty sure the uh, blaster is, um, is different. Uh, we don't have the other one to compare, but I think do think it's different colored. Yeah, but this would be much smaller on the scale of like the dewback for this thing that he rides on. Probably even smaller than the dewback actually, and they could definitely pull that off. And I would have to think that's in the works somewhere along the lines. It wouldn't need to be a Haslab. That should just be a regular, the regular thing. And then here we go. So we have Obi Wan Kenobi. And the backpack looks really good. And I love the fact that it opens up. That's really awesome. All right, Boog, anything else? To, oh, we, we have to. Sorry, we're not even done yet. I forgot about Ned B. Ned, get in here. How could you forget about the best part? All right, I'll, I'll uh, talk about Obi once more while you uh, open up Ned. I figured Obi Wan's got some work he needs to do. Oh, he might. Now the pack is going back on. Yep. Very nicely, we Sa hope. Saving that for later. All right. And now I'll go over. Uh, I'll go over um, hiking, mountain hiking. Obi Wan Kenobi as he climbs to the top of Mount Everest. <laughs> I don't think Mount Everest <sighs> exists in Star Wars oh, universe. Oh, oh, oh. The, well, I guess I guess it'd be the Star Wars equivalent. <laughs> All right, I think it's time for me to get a nice drink out of my pack. Can't quite reach it. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, hold on. Almost. Almost. Yeah, you can almost reach back here and reach it. You get it open. Oh, and here comes Ned B. Ned, are you in there? Can you help me? I'm thirsty. Ugh. Almost. Oh, great. Yes. Goldfish. Mm, what I always wanted. <laughs> yeah, if you mm. actually look in there, there is, a, there is something in there, Dan. A pack of goldfish? Look. Cheez-Its. Look in there. Uh, can't quite see. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> Wait, there. Oh, oh, yes, there is something in here. Looks like a large Skittle. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, we would love Skittles, but it won't come out. If you can see that or not? But it's in there. Yep, a large Skittle. Mm. There it is. Mm. Yes, <laughs> love tasty Skittles. Mm. And then at the end of this, we'll see what the backpack looks on our old Obi Wan. Right, of course. I guess it's now old now. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if you can yeah. put. The, I guess yeah, you just can put this on. I think with the backpack. I think. So this was a little hard to put back on. I'm not sure if that's the right way or if it should be like this way. No, because you can see the string. So it should be this way? Yeah. All right. So it goes back over the head. So I get it the right, right, right way. Uh, uh, yeah, they, they even customized the pack with his little, his wrapper to put Star Wars logos on it. Oh, they did. I don't know if you guys could see that, but the tissue paper that... Yeah, they kind of... What, what was this holding? Uh, hmm. Oh, it was wrapped around him? Yeah. 
uh, wrapped around the other yeah, the one, the, says the one Star Wars. The, one, very the ones wrapped around the, the accessories were not. Oh, that's kind of cool. Nice little touch. Good job, Hasbro. Yay. Even though Dad absolutely just destroyed you earlier for prepaid the Obi Wan. Yes. Uh, well, it doesn't work as well with the backpack. It kind of <laughs> covers up his <laughs> most of his face. E- either that, or Dad put it on severely incorrectly. It's possible. Could have, could have done that. Well, I think I did that. But well, if I go back this way, nope. I definitely don't think that's it. <laughs> it's terrible. Yeah, you know, it's pretty bad. Okay, nope, not that. All right, so it's gonna be like. That way, I think. Dan, am I playing with the Ned B already? What? You got Ned B already? Yeah. All right. Can't so help myself. let's go over with some uh accessories with here. <laughs> so he comes with a uh, vacuum cleaner. Very nice. What is this, Boog? Is this a vacuum cleaner? <laughs> I don't know. It might be. Oh. It's, maybe it's uh, his backpack. Oh, it's his pack. Oh, okay. Oh, Very cool. cool. You can add his two. You can actually connect his little tubes in there. Tubes going to the pack. Yeah. Oh, and it looks like he's gonna come with a blaster. But no one, no one knows. And he was, he's he's what like a loading droid or something in there. Yeah. Slash. But we all know his true weapon. Yes. Ta da! His hammer. B. What? Oh, it's Ned and and B. The smash hammer. Kind of like Thor's. Yeah, this is really cool. Love it. We'll probably not display him like this, but here he is. This is actually, I think this is a blaster that comes with the Roger Roger. There he is. Wow, and he does look good. But, delete that. All right. He'll never be used ever again, unless we decide to put it on our, on our Roger Roger droid. Yeah, he's going all hammer action. Ready to kick some cheeks. Right, Dan? Probably dad's. But, yeah. What? That bee's on my team. Uh, maybe. Well, there's only one way we could find out. Look, you know all the droids love me. Well, some of them don't. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's why we're straight up just looks bigger than you. <laughs> all right, folks. Yeah, here's dad bee, and he is, he is quite large. I'm going to put him over here next to Obi-Wan just so you can kind of get an idea of the size comparison. Yeah, he's he, he's a big fella. I don't know. Hmm. This one's taller. What? I can't see it. No. Maybe it's because of the knees. There you go. Yeah. There you go. The purpose is saying to me. He has knees bent. So yeah, <laughs> old Ned here is, is quite a good bit larger. And let me turn around so I can get a look at him. Yeah, he looks he looks really good. This is this is an impressive figure. Really like this guy. Glad we got lucky and found him. It was just one on the shelf, right? Right time, right place. Yeah. And there he was. I do think they could have made the yellow a bit darker, I think. But I think it's a little too bright of a yellow. Yeah. They... It's hard to tell. His scenes are kind of dark in the... You know, it's nighttime. Yeah. No, they're like... Mo- he's like mostly like in buildings and stuff, too, on top of that. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm not sure exactly how yellow he's supposed to be, but I think this is okay. Um, they did a pretty good job uh, dirtying him up, giving him the wear and tear. Uh, maybe maybe not quite enough. He probably was a little more battle damaged, right? Wouldn't you say? Um, no, I do think that's accurate. I think that's about right. But yeah, he's a great, 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 great droid. And Star Wars has a long history of awesome uh, droids. And he is another one there. He uh, uh, actually has a lot to do with them being able to smuggle uh, the Jedi. Their whole little operation they had going on there. Their undercover deal uh, against the Empire. So... Um, and he fought valiantly just till the very end. Yeah, uh, yeah. He's trying to save the lady. Yeah, I do. I do wish that they got a little, he got a little bit more action in him. Yeah, yeah. He was a really great character though. Which yeah. was which was kind of funny because um because I could tell like the scene was supposed to be about the lady uh, lady perishing, but everyone cared about him instead. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes, they did. Ned, no, not Ned. <laughs> yeah. We didn't have you long, Dad, but we loved you, man. You were great. <laughs> but yeah, this is him, and it pretty much it's all the... He's getting emotional now. <laughs> yeah. Normal articulation, I guess you would expect. I mean, he's not going to have butterfly joints or anything, but, <clears throat> but yeah, he's he's really, really cool. Like him, <clears throat> like how they gave him the correct size, <clears throat> so they, they went ahead and with the, made the extra effort there to make him, um, you know, big as he needed to be. 
You know, after the cool parts that they gave him like special pegs to make it and look clear. Oh, they did. Clear. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I think it's also on the other guy that we have. Uh oh, does he have clear pegs? I think so. Let's grab. Let's grab him up right quick. Make sure to check out his review. Yeah, he should already be on the channel. But yeah, Boog is talking about. Well, I can't really see what Boog is talking about. I think it's more in the arms. Oh wait, no. No, not him. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm thinking about Kit Fisto. Never mind. Not Kit Fisto. Um, the um, the big the big black droid. Dark Trooper. That was a droid. K two S O. Oh yes, K two. Yes. Yeah, he has them like all over too. All right, guys. Actually, let's let's show off some versions we could do with Obi Wan. Okay. So we'll steal this one's backpack. See what backpack it, is gone. And see what it looks like on the Obi Wan. And yeah, like I said, we pretty much determined these are the exact same figures, just a different paint job for the shirt. And different and accessories. A different, yeah, different accessories. So, um... And there's, I guess, now older Obi-Wan with backpack. Yeah, yeah, you can interchange the backpack however you want to. Yeah, this one... This, backpack is a very cool accessory item, though. This one feels more correct than the other one. This feels more accurate. I'm gonna go back and watch the show and pay attention. I just didn't notice him. In the blue shirt, but I, I'm, I'm assuming it was in there. This feels more correct to me. <laughs> yeah. He probably wore this most of the time, and maybe he took away from the shirt. You didn't notice that it was blue, but now I'll have to watch that again what and see. The, what, the, what the cape oh. looks like on older Obi-Wan now. It works, too. Yeah, I mean, obviously the, um, the robe is way cooler. Which we could kind of do the same thing here. Put him in the robe. Of course, robe kind of means I'm ready for Jedi business. <clears throat> Which this cape is kind of oh I'm in disguise. I'm a I'm a just a regular person, not out to kick any Sith butt or anything. I have no special powers. What are they going to do the guy that, uh, remember the fake Jedi? What uh, was his yeah, name? uh, I, I don't, I don't remember, but, they, um. I yeah. would buy him. I think yeah. he'd be a cool character. Yeah, dude, he's really, he's really, he'd be really, he, we kept calling it, we call it, like, every ridiculous character dad because, <laughs> you know. <laughs> what? So, yeah, that's, that's why. So, yeah, Jedi Road kind of works, even though. Like I said, uh, Jedi's don't, don't normally wear blue. I think his name started with N, I think. Yeah, something like that. Niles or something like that. I don't know. I'm not going to guess. I'll do a terrible job. Gerald or something. I don't know. I don't think it was Gerald. All right, everybody. Well, we hope you enjoyed this review. We're going to wrap it up here. Let's get Ned back in the shot. All right. Yeah, I'll probably display this one with the backpack, probably. Instead of the cape. Oh, okay. Just because I think he, I don't know, I think, I think the backpack works better. Makes sense. With this, with this gear, the backpack works, which works better. Most definitely. There you go. And this one can go back to the Jedi robe. Anyway. There it is. All right, take care, everybody. And we will see you on the next video. Okay, guys, in this video, make sure to like and subscribe. There's some more awesome Star Wars fun. Bye!